GTA King here back here with another GTA King GTA 5 video coming to you to the channel. Oh, and we're gonna be doing something very cool today, very awesome. It is the facility game cars, the front glitch. I've been showing y'all the casino method, but now I'm gonna show you that the facility method still works. There is a couple of requirements you will need. You will need a festival bus, us modded festival bus, in your CEO office, and you can get one through the give cards to friend glitch through the casino method, which you can find on my channel, and I will link that video in the description of this one here. But it is very easy to do. You will need a friend in your session to do this and you can receive more than one car at a time but the requirements will need a full facility a, a facility holds seven cars ours. so let's say if you're going to receive seven cars then you need seven cars in your facility you don't mind losing and you will need a CO office and a festival bus inside your CEO office now I recommend using the CEO office on the map which is right here, which is called Maze Bank West, where I'm at, because it'll be easy, and also using the festival bus has nothing on top. Now, there's another way to get a, to get the CO office, if you are wondering how, if you're new to the game. Uh, on old gen, if you did the criminal er enterprise pack, then you can get this office for free. If you starting on new gen, then you will need to choose the right career option when creating your character in GTA 5 and you can get this office for a dirt cheap price very dirt cheap so just keep that in mind so all you want to do is call your party bus or you can drive it out from your CEO office garage and you want to drive it in and put it on the same floor that you call it out from now that will put you on a black screen from there, you're going to want your friend to start up a job and send you a job invite. Right, and he wants to send it through your console, whether it's PlayStation or Xbox. So you're just going to put you on a black screen, infant black loader screen, and meanwhile, you just want your friend to load into the job uh, menu, and he just wants to send you an invite. Once he sends you an invite, you want to go ahead and accept his invite and load into the menu and then once you're inside the menu you're going to want him to go down to confirm settings and then once he confirms settings he wants to go to view join players and then click on your name and then kick you from the job and once he kicks you it will spawn you outside your facility that is why I recommend you always have the person start up the job outside of your facility so that you don't have to drive from your office to your facility. Now, if my friend just start up a different job, I would have to drive there. From here, now you just want to go ahead and find yourself a street vehicle and your friend can back out of that job. Um, So I'm just going to walk my way down here to the street and I'm going to get myself a street car. Once I get back, I'm going to use that street car. Arm. I'm going to get that street car and I'm going to bring it to my, fa my facility. Now, my facility is the one by the casino. You don't have to own the same facility 
but at this point I am glitched out for this so the glitch out is very simple so you just drive your party bus in get stuck on a job your friend starts up the job um, I recommend he starts up close to the one to your facility so it saves you time from driving from your CEO office to your facility and you just want to ew, it'll just join the job and have him kick you ew. that's the easiest method it, and then your friend will need something to flip you with if he doesn't own something you can call out something for your friend to flip you with I do recommend the, plant, the phantom wedge edge if you don't have a phantom wedge I recommend you receive one through the gift cards the friend glitch through the casino you can also find that on my channel like I said I will link that video in the description when I post this one so I'm just gonna make my way to the street now at this time because I'm glitched out my friend cannot see me on his map I can see him but now if he was glitched out out then we won't be able to see each other on the map and we wouldn't be able to see each other's character when we're near each other at this time I cannot bring out weapons but he can and it also does glitch out the sessions where other people cannot join so pretty much when you're in the session no one else can join but this is a very simple easy glitch so I'm just gonna make my way down here to the street And I'm going to grab me a street car. And I recommend you trying to use a small one. And don't forget to smash that like button, guys. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on those post notifications. And join my Discord servers. Links will be in the description for those as well. So I'm just going to make my way to the street. And I'm just going to try to find me a small car with a flat roof. Something that's going to be very light, easy for my friend to flip. Once I get back up here, I'm going to have my friends sit inside the street car, and I'm going to attempt to call out my phantom wedge. Now, if my phantom wedge does not spawn, the easy way to fix that is to go inside of your facility, then walk out, and then you'll be able to go. But the reason why I'll have my friends sit inside the street car, so it does not despawn. if it despawns then I will have to go to the street and get a new street car now you could use a personal vehicle to get flipped but because my friend does not have a phantom wedge he is going to use my phantom wedge so then that means I will just need to get a street car to use but I could use a personal vehicle from a different garage Now, if you own the uh, Polito Bay facility, there is a bulldozer, or you can use that one. Um, that is probably the probably easier to flip with if if you do it a lot. But if you don't do it a lot, then it's not that easy. But this glitch works all the time. It's like basically unpatchable, guys. This glitch has been working for months on end. I have posted on my channel multiple times, but this is just to show you it still works. So I'm just going to try to find me a small little car, and I'm going to make my way up to the facility. The smaller the car, it's going to be easier for your friend to flip. The bigger the car, he will have tougher time to flip. So I'm going to use this one. This one should be good enough. It's just in the middle, very small, and it's in the almost kind of big, but it's more on the small side. So I'll be good to go with this one. So I'm going to make my way up here to my facility and I'm gonna get out of the car and call my phantom wedge. Now if I'm not able to call my phantom wedge, 
like I said, to fix that, I'm just going to have my friend sit inside the street car so it doesn't despawn. And then I'm going to walk inside my facility and walk out, and then I should be able to call out a personal vehicle. So I'm just going to make my way up here. Like I said, now my friend cannot see me on the map, and I'm glitched out in this game until I restart my game. Even if I switch to a different session, I will still be glitched out. And by doing this, I get the car, and my friend still has the car. He does not lose the car. So, do not think, oh, because you gave someone your car, you're going to lose it. It's just making a copy. You have a copy of it, he, and your friend has a copy of it. So you're just going to pull up to your facility with your street car. And I'm going to have my friend sit inside of this so it doesn't despawn. And once he's sitting inside, I'm going to try to call out my phantom wedge. So I'm going to go to vehicles special vehicles and I'm going to request the phantom wedge now I was able to call my phantom wedge so what my friend's going to do is he's going to go and get inside of my phantom wedge and he's going to try to flip me over now my phantom wedge did spawn at the top of the hill to the right so as you see, I'm going to get inside my streetcar, and if you look straight ahead, there is a yellow dot outside of my facility. So I'm going to open my interactions menu, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to face a certain way and line up on that yellow dot. So before I get onto the yellow dot, I'm going to close my interactions menu, and you see where that yellow dot is? You want to put the center of your car on that yellow dot. So now my interaction menu is open. And you just want to park your car on that dot. Now, once it's on that dot and your friend's ready to go, oh, it looks like he's ready to go. So I'm just going to back out the interactions menu here in just a second. And when I do, I should be on the alert saying my facility is full. Well, if it's not, then that means your facility is not full, which I know mine is full. So I'm going to back out. I'm on the alert. Now my friend wants to flip me over. Now, he can flip me over when I'm on my side or I'm upside down. As long as I'm on one or the other and I don't flip back over while I'm sitting on my wheels, I'm good to go. Once I'm flipped over, he wants to let me know and then I want to press A on the alert. So now we just play the waiting game. But if he flips me over too much and I come off the alert, I will have to drive back over and get onto the I have to drive back over the to the yellow dot. But this is a very easy give course to friend glitch, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. So long as I flip over on my side or I'm flipped over while I'm on the roof when when the roof when the car is on its roof. So long as I stay on this alert, I'm good to go. If I come off of this alert, then I will have to let my friend know, so then I can get back on the yellow dot. So I did come off the yellow dot, so I'm going to have to get back on it. He's going to have to flip me again, but I recommend that your friend just honks the horn so you do not, so you, you know you're flipped, flipped. So your friend just wants to line back up again, so he's going to want to get back on that bridge for where my facility's at. 
and, and he's gonna want to flip me again. The reason why you do have to do it again because if your friend sends you a message or anything, and and you try to open up your game menu, your console menu, it takes off the alert automatically when you close out of the console menu. You, so I'm just gonna get back on the yellow dot, and I'm gonna press. I'm gonna close my interaction menu in three, two, one, and it didn't put me on the alert that time. So you just want to reline it up. Cause it does bug out like this a couple of times, guys. If you do get kicked off of the alert, so now I'm on the alert. So now my friend just wants to kick me, flip me over again. Once he flips me over, he just wants to talk the horn. So now I'm just gonna press A on the alert. From here, I just want to flip the car back over. And I want to drive over here. Now, if, if I'm receiving more than one car, I would have my friend sit inside this car so it doesn't despawn. Because if it despawns, you have to go to the street to get to a different vehicle. But I'm only receiving one car, so we don't have to do that. Yeah. So at this point, now you want to open up the interactions menu and take the easy way out. If you're not able to because you have a cooldown period, just have your friend in and kill you. You can do either one, one, but to take up more, to take up less time. If you have a cooldown period, period, then just have your friend shoot you. So now that I did respond, now I just want to go and get inside of my friend's car, and I want to drive it inside of my facility and replace it with one of my cars that I don't mind losing. So at this time you don't want to get near your facility dock because it will suck you inside. So you just want to go up to the car and try to avoid getting sucked inside the facility. So you just want to go get your friend's car. So he needs to have it unlocked and ready for you to drive it. And then you just want to go up to the facility and you're going to drive it in and you're going to choose you're going to choose a car to put it over that you don't mind losing. From there, what you're going to do is you will walk outside of your facility and you will be ready to be flipped by your friend again to receive the next car. So once you see his car spawn back on the map, what your friend's going to want to do is he is going to want to go ahead and return this car to storage so you should see the car on the map and he will call it the next car that he's giving you if he's giving you another car if you're not receiving another car to get unglitched all you would do is just restart your game you would just close your game application and you would load back in and you'll have your friend's car and you're good to go if y'all enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments below and smash that like button and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.